Uh, today we're going to be looking at how to multitask with the iPhone or iPod Touch. Uh, this is nice so you can run applications in the background um, while you're trying to get stuff done. So if you're in your navigation part and you want to look for an address real quick, uh, you don't actually have to close down on the navigator, you can just run it in the background. Um, kind of like the Palm Pre. So today we're going to look at how to do that. Um, some requirements to do this video, uh, to do this app, is actually you're going to need to make sure your iPhone or iPod Touch is jailbroken, uh, which you can find on my website uh, in the link to the right of your screen um, or in one of my YouTube videos. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to power on your iPod Touch or your iPhone um, and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to the Cydia app. Now when we open up the Cydia app, it's going to load the data and you're going to see five things on the bottom. Uh, you're going to see Cydia, Sections, Changes, Manage, and Search. So we're going to want to go to Manage because we're going to want to add a source. So we're going to click on Sources then in the middle. And then at the top you should see something that says Edit. You click that. And now you should have an option of Add or Done. So we're going to want to click Add. Now it's going to bring up something that says Enter Cydia APT URL. So this is where we're going to type in the URL for uh, the multitasking. Now that is going to be booleanmagic.com backslash repo. So it looks something like this. Uh, it's going to be booleanmagic.com and then we're going to put repo. R E P O. Then we're going to put another one of these in there and press add source. Now it's going to verify the URL and update it because it's got to bring in all the applications that it has. Um, and then after it reloads the data, we uh, are going to have a couple options here. So after it reloads this data, we just need to go into that source. Alright, so now it's going to say return to Cydia. Um, and now you should see something with a little arrow next to it. Um, now we want to get rid of that, so we're going to press done at the top. So now we have the options of manage and edit. Now the one that we're going to want to click is this top one that we just added. So you just click on this. Um, if it closes out, just remember, you just go to the bottom to manage, sources, and then you want this one right here. So now you have two options. It's called Lib Activator and Pro Switcher. So we're going to click on Pro Switcher and then we're going to click on Install at the top right. When we do that, we're going to press Confirm and that's going to help us download this. So as you can see at the bottom, it's working. And then you're going to get reloading data again. We're going to press Reboot Device. Now this is going to reboot our whole iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, and we're going to get the Apple on there and it's going to reboot all together. So, Alright, so after your phone reboots, um, it should look like this, um, but I, you may run into a problem where uh, when it reboots you get the iTunes symbol with the cord going into it saying you need to redo it. Uh, if that happens, uh, just hook your uh, iPhone or iPod Touch back up to the computer uh, and run Black Rain again where it says make it rain uh, which you can find on my website under the jailbreak um, but after you're done and you boot up your phone or your iPod touch uh, you should just be able to unlock it um, and you should see an icon on here called backgrounder and pro switcher now after you've done that we need to go back into Cydia we need to go back to the bottom where it says manage right here and then we need to go back to sources Go to here and make sure both of them are installed. If both of them have green check marks by them, we're good to go. Uh, and we just press the home key and it'll bring us out. Now this is where you can open it up um, and that'll run it that way. Um, or if you want an easier way to do it, you can just open up uh, an application, hold down the home key for a little bit, and now it's enabled. Uh, and then just flick it up to get rid of it. Um, but that's how you enable multitasking is by holding down the home key 
and I'll say background is enabled and you can also close out by the top um, or if you click the home key it'll minimize it and you can open up another application but when you hold it down the home key you can go back to the other one that you had open so that's how you use it um, if you guys have any questions feel free to email me um, also you can look at our site uh, and we have some stuff on there that has other tutorials um, feel free to subscribe and uh, check out our website. Uh, donations are greatly appreciated. Thanks. Alright, so after your phone reboots, um, it should look like this. Um, but I, you may run into a problem where uh, when it reboots you get the iTunes symbol with the cord going into it saying you need to redo it. Uh, if that happens, uh, just hook your uh, iPhone or iPod Touch back up to the computer. Uh, and run black rain again where it says make it rain uh, which you can find on my website under the jailbreak um, but after you're done and you boot up your phone or your iPod touch uh, you should just be able to unlock it um, and you should see an icon on here called backgrounder and pro switcher now after you've done that we need to go back into Cydia we need to go back to the bottom where it says manage right here and then we need to go back to sources, go to here, and make sure both of them are installed. If both of them have green check marks by them, we're good to go. Uh, and we just press the home key, and it will bring us out. Now this is where you can open it up, um, and that will run it that way. Um, or, if you want an easier way to do it, you can just open up uh, an application, hold down the home key for a little bit, and now it's enabled. Uh, and then just flick it up to get rid of it um, but that's how you enable multitasking is by holding down the home key and I'll say background is enabled and you can also close out by the top um, or if you click the home key it'll minimize it and you can open up another application but when you hold it down the home key you can go back to the other one that you had open so that's how you use it um, if you guys have any questions feel free to email me um, also you can look at our site uh, and we have some stuff on there that has other tutorials. Um, feel free to subscribe and uh, check out our website. Uh, donations are greatly appreciated. Thanks.